टूडे आई स्टार्ट फ्रॉम मेज थ्योरी वो इन फेवियस डे ऑल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट पॉजिटिव सर्ट एंड मेजा and we obviously discuss about some proposition and related one important lemma this lemma says about that that means if some measure of a subset of a subset of x e is positive okay greater than 0 less than plus infinity then we find a positive set we find a positive set this is subset of e and satisfies satisfies the measure of this positive set obviously greater than 0 less than plus infinity okay we also discuss in previous class today we just write the statement which we done okay we write the statement of this lemma we also known about that positive set mm, if you mm, if you interested now okay we first write this lemma then we going to this positive set okay let x a mu b a measure with space or measure space okay then what happened and let let e subset of x such that zero less than mu a less than plus infinity okay then there exists a positive set which set positive set which positive set we construct a which this a is a subset of e with zero less than mu a less than plus infinity okay this one is the lemma related lemma okay so we we'll also discuss this lemma now this will also discuss this lemma in previous class we just write the statement here okay this one is positive set and e b subset of x okay and obviously e belongs to here uh, this algebra okay now we going to be discussion of positive set okay which one is called positive set we write it here now positive set in measure that means let x this algebra this measure be a measure space measure space then e subset of x is said to be positive set if what happened first e be a measurable subset okay or measurable set okay and second one obviously zero less than equal to mu e less than plus infinity okay that means of uh, sorry 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 here this one is not oh i do wrong here some mu a okay less than zero less than equal to zero less than plus infinity for all a belongs to this algebra and a subset of e okay that means every subset of e obviously measure of every subset of e greater than equal to 0 okay so this one is called a positive set we also discuss about in previous class also mm, today we also just write this Mm, statement again again write this definition and lemma and we now discuss about same thing for negative set if negative set then what happen we not prove about that but we write this statement here okay what happen we write it here negative set okay negative set let x This algebra mu b a measure space, okay? B a measure space. Then what happen? Then we we'll talk about that here. E subset belongs to this algebra, and E subset of X is said to be is said to be negative set if first one e v measurable set v measurable set second one 
बीस म्यू बी लेस देन इक्वल टू जीरो ओके हे आ बी बिलोंग्स टू दिस एल्जेब्रा ओथ बी सबसेट ऑफ ई ओके दिस वन इज कॉल्ड नेगेटिव सेट इन मेजर आई वो अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट इट आई थिंक ऑल आई अंडरस्टैंड सो वी राइट दिस कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग लामा रिलेटेड टू दिस नेगेटिव सेट वो नॉट प्रूफ नाउ बट वी राइट दिस कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग लामा ओके रिलेटेड टू दिस नेगेटिव सेट सो वो राइट द स्टेटमेंट नाउ दैट एस एम यू बी ए मेजर स्पेस ओके लेट ई बी ए मेजरेबल मेजरेबल सबसेट ऑफ एक्स सबसेट ऑफ एक्स सच दैट माइनस इन्फिनिटी लेस देन म्यू ई लेस देन जीरो ओके देन फॉट हेपन देन देन देर एग्जिस्ट ए नेगेटिव सेट एन देर एग्जिस्ट ए नेगेटिव सेट एन सच दैट सच दैट एन सबसेट ऑफ ई विथ With minus infinity less than mu n less than zero. Okay. I understand. I think not a problem at all. This one is the corresponding lemma related to positive set, but this one we construct a negative set. Okay. But same as a positive set lemma. Okay. So we just discuss this two lemma and negative set and positive set. Today, now we're going to discussion about Hahn decomposition theorem. One important theorem in measure space. In LP space, this one is a an important theorem. Also, we we'll discuss now today. Okay. So we we'll write the statement first. Hahn decomposition. theorem okay let let x a mu script a mu be a measure space be a measure space and oh so oh sorry here sign measure space okay oh we also write this one that means positive set and negative set Obviously, this one is that means happen in side major space. We will not write this one is major space because major space means obviously major belonging to zero to plus infinity. Okay, where well, this major of uh, major of some set belongs to this, but this one are uh, obviously we we'll write some mistake here. Or well, this one obviously this. So obviously this one. That means not major space, side major space. Okay, we we'll do some wrong, but please correct it. Okay, this one um, obviously belong to some side major space. X script a mu. Okay, that means X algebra and mesa obviously be a side major space. So now we are going to be discussion about that uh, side major space. Then what happen? Then There exist a positive set, okay? Then there exist a positive set. Then there exist a positive set and a negative set for mu, and a negative set for mu, okay? Such that what? Such that x equal to p union n, okay? And and p intersection n equal to phi. That means phi intersection n. That means positive set, negative set. That means this one are obviously. Mm, that means this one. Okay. Um. So what we talk about that? That means some set x, which is represented as a. 
that means disjoint union of positive set and negative set okay so we we'll start proof of that okay since the range of mu since the range of mu does not contain both this one sign measure so does not contain both plus infinity and minus infinity okay okay then for definiteness for definiteness of mu okay we may assume that we may assume that what happened there is minus infinity less than this mu a less than plus infinity okay Here, let let what happen? Let n of this a or algebra denote the set of all negative sets of x. Okay, denotes the set of all negative set. sets of x okay now define lambda equal to or it is that portion and going to further discussion of that define Define here lambda equal to infimum of mu of e such that e belongs to in this algebra. Okay. Now note that note that note that what mu phi equal to zero. Okay. Note that mu phi equal to zero. Hence, hence n of this script A is not empty. Okay. Because this one is that means mu e obviously less than equal to zero. So mu phi is zero. That means obviously this one that means n script A set of all negative sets. Okay, not equal to five. Then what happen? Let e n, let e n be a sequence in n a, be a sequence in n this algebra. Okay. E n be a sequence in n a such that such that here limit n tending to infinity. Okay, mu of e n equal to lambda and define define what n equal to Union of n equal to one to infinity, e n. Hence, n is a negative set. Hence, n is a negative set. Okay. 
define n equal to union of n equal to 1 to infinity en okay hence n is a negative set okay since a countable union of negative set is negative since sorry this one since a countable union of negative set is negative is negative set okay now note that n difference en is a negative set with n difference en u intersection en equal to 5 okay and n difference en union en equal to what n okay since a countable this one n be a negative set okay union of en and obviously we def let this en be that means limit n tending to infinity mu en equal to lambda so this n be the union of en negative set then note that n difference en is a negative set with this okay now since mu is finitely additive we erase that portion and go into further discussion of that Since mu is finitely additive, then mu n equal to mu n equal to what? Mu of n difference e n plus mu of e n. Okay less than equal to mu of en since mu of n difference en less than equal to zero now taking limit as n tending to infinity we get limit n tending to infinity mu n less than equal to lambda okay this implies that mu n less than equal to lambda By definition of lambda, lambda less than equal to mu n. Okay. Since lambda is the what? Infimum of mu e for e belongs to any. That means lambda less than equal to mu n that means by assumption of mu n we also see about by assumption of lambda we also see about that this one happen okay so what we that means prove here thus mu n equal to lambda okay we also do this too easily mu finitely additive we know about that obviously mu countably, countably additive but here finitely additive we use then this one is less than equal to zero because one that means negative set obviously less than equal to zero so this one 
less than equal to mu en and mu en we also taking limit and tending to infinity then lambda okay so mu n less than equal to lambda and here our definition this so mu n equal to lambda we arrive this situation now okay now we're going to construction of some p so we also find one that means n okay n equal to union of en en be a sequence in na so that means this na is the that means infimum of mu e where e belongs to um, that means the set of all negative sets of x okay now we write it here construction of p construction of p set p equal to x difference n we may so that p we may so that p be a positive set okay suppose that p is not positive we write it now suppose that suppose that p is not positive then what happened okay then we erase our portion and going to further discussion of that then there exists a belongs to this script a with a subset of p such that mu a less than zero okay that means if p is p equal to x difference n okay then we have to show that p is positive but we suppose that p is not positive then what happened then there exists a belongs to this algebra with a subset of p such that mu a less than zero because if mu a greater than equal to zero then p must be positive but we suppose we let that that means we first construct that p be not positive so this one happened then what happened okay then what happened also going to discussion about that okay that means that is minus infinity less than mu a less than zero okay so then by then by a negative set b by a negative set b with b subset with b mm, subset of a okay minus infinity less than mu b less than zero okay then what happened then by this one then what happened then they are sorry then there exist not by then there exist a negative set this one happened okay so 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 what so it is this lower portion now and we're going to further discussion of that so what happened that means negative set negative sets 
D N R design. Okay. Then mu of B union N equal to mu B plus mu N less than zero lambda. Okay. mu n equal to lambda and mu b less than zero so less than this one so what happened we mark is star okay then then b union n b a negative set b a negative set okay so hence star contradicts contradicts the definition of the definition of lambda because lambda equal to infimum of those negative sets but here also we find one negative set for us which measure is less than lambda okay so this one is can't be possible Therefore, our assumption is wrong. Therefore, P B A positive set. Okay, so we we'll do the proof of Hahn decomposition theorem. This theorem shows about that there exists a positive set and negative set whose just that means they are disjoint and their union B equal to X. Okay, in a sign measure phase, this one happened. Today I discuss this important Hahn decomposition theorem in major space. All are understand I think and this one is so easy. If you get this type of video, please subscribe my channel and if you if you want to that means impress about it or if you get this type of video then please encourage me by raised like options and obviously you have any questions and any suggestions any comments please write it in comment box so today i stop here if you get this type of video please subscribe my channel